That's good. That's good. Day 2, 9.33 a.m. The 11 celebrity housemates have been in the house for 11 hours and 27 minutes. Yesterday, Terry became the first ever celebrity head of house. As head of house, he's entitled to his own luxury private quarters and is the only housemate permitted to enter them. Mattia, Vern, Lucy and Tommy are asleep in the bedroom. Latoya is in the private bedroom. Ulrika, Ben, Michelle and Tina are in the kitchen and have been awake for 14 minutes. So you know the, the other room were like first to bed and still asleep, so they're like going to be fresh today. Let's yeah. see. You see, we're starting that already. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the let's other talk room. about them oh, and us. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're doing. That's what will happen. Yeah, you know, they slept in. Did you see in their room? <laughs> and they all went to bed first. No, but like they're going to be like fresh the whole day, and like I reckon we're going to start jealous? bagging. Are you Did you want to be fresh? I wouldn't, wouldn't Annie, mind actually. Annie, you couldn't look. You couldn't look unfresh if you tried. Well, Anna. I can. Well, thank you. Oh, what about head of house? Oh yeah. I bet he it gets would a lot. It'd be nice to be locked away in that bedroom. No, do you know, I don't think I'd like it. No. Oh, look at Coolio. How Coolio is Coolio. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. That's very good. I can do that. I can do that. Ugh. That does sound like something my four year old might say. I can do that. Hey, I'm telling I can you. do that. Have you, have you, have, have you been. <laughs> Have you been listening to hip hop lately? Is that the kind of raps these cats is doing? Oh, uh, no. Ten forty-eight a.m. Vern is in the bedroom. Tommy, Coolio, and Ben are at the dining table. What's your second name? Because you're, you're obviously not Chris. My name is Artis Leon Ivy Jr. And how long have you been like Coolio for? Does anyone call you apart from your mom? Yeah, you know, we, you know how women are. Me. I don't want to call you Coolio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name? Well then, I'm saying Artis. Well then, Artis, let's go. Can you take me to dinner? <laughs> I don't even know you. Look her, girl. My name is not Artis. My name ain't Cool. My name is Jasper. You feel me? Look her. Tell you one thing, you want something to eat, you come on down to the farm and I'll go on and kill a cow right now and go and slice you up some beef. You want a steak? How thick do you want it? I didn't understand any of that, but it was good. Yeah, but I'm glad because it means I'm not the only person in here that sometimes isn't understood. Tina and Terry are at the ash tree. Well, it, it was weird it affected Christmas knowing you coming in, in a way that I didn't think it would. Yeah, it did, because you kept thinking about it, didn't you? <laughs> I was on holiday with all my family going, oh, as if. <laughs> uh, I couldn't it? believe the cheeky paper, cheeky bastard papers, but I'm doing it for £3.50. Well, there's he grand. I was like, you having a fucking staffy graph? They always do that, though. They used to be. Uh... Yeah, but it shows what they thought I was worth. <laughs> You've been hounded by the press. Well, there's nothing. Nothing great. As no, I mean, have they been ringing you? Um, no, no, I mean... It, They've um, rung me every day. It's one of the papers last week printed. Tina Malone, who once boasted about being proud to be a fat bird. I'm not being funny. I'm the only fucking fat bird who says I hate being a fat bird. You know, fat birds are fucking a show. And any fat bird who says they're happy being a fat bird's a fat fucking liar. Right? And went and got a gastric band. Never had a gastric band in my life. Scared, I had a balloon. No, I had a balloon. This balloon. year to lose four stone, yeah. I lost four stone six pounds. What's this year. A balloon? I had a balloon put down your throat. They drink, bowl, blow it up, fill it with saline, and it stays in you for six months. Oh, and you're violently ill every day. It was great. I fucking loved it. I'd have another ten. But anyway, in saying that, so all my family went, even my mother went, 
You've never said you're happy being a fat. I said exactly all the fatties chase me down the street with pork pies going, yeah, fucking traitor. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So it's absolute garbage. So it shows that you just don't get, get it right, do you know what I mean? Because I'm so anti-fat, if you like. That's it's, the it's only thing. It's about creating talking points. Of course, yeah. Just a better, what's a better story, really? Yeah. They may as well have said, Tina Malone's anorexic and six foot one. One twenty nine PM. Some of the housemates are at the sofas. So this is considered a very nice day for you guys, right? At this time of year, Latoya, yes. yes. This would be a nice day. day. Because the sun is out in the whole bed. Beautiful. Well, just because it's not bitterly cold. I mean it's probably about four or five degrees out there. Whereas at this time of the year it's can be minus three. So Do you get sunshine all year round? Yeah. Every day. I'm jealous. Uh, of every day, all day. Yeah, I would so love that. that. Tina, Ben, and Terry are in the ash tree. Did you sleep? Do you know, it took me ages to get to sleep. Did it? Yeah. Absolutely ages, yeah. I was out. Because you sit there and you're trying to kind of take in the whole day, and then you're thinking, okay, well, what's going to be in store tomorrow? Blah, blah, blah. So, you know, when you've got kind of so many things going around your head, you suddenly just kind of. Just kind of bolt upright, and then Cooley obviously woke up after his nightmare. And he was like, "What? Uncle, what nightmare?" <laughs> no, he, 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 he woke up, and I was like, "Just drifting off to sleep." He's like, "Man, I just shot someone." Blah, blah, blah. I was like, "Sorry." I'm having a nightmare about the sales of his last album. That's not being bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Teddy's going to be the one no, steering. Things like that. <laughs> and That's not steering. And he having a laugh. Anyway. Ulrika, Coolio, and Vern are at the dining table preparing lunch. I'm stumbling over people's names. I, I, I have trouble with your name. Ulrika. Ulrika. But you can call me Uli, or you can call me whatever you like. Uli. As long as it's a nice name. Uli. 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 I like her. I like her. Uli. <laughs> You're not married, huh? I am, yeah. We're Third wedding. time. We're a wedding ring. Huh? We're a wedding ring. I've got it on. Oh, okay. This is the longest I've worn my wedding ring, actually. Yeah? Yeah, because. Their attention? Yeah, well, because I'm always looking after the baby, or you know, you're washing your hands, it always gets right. wet. And How old is your baby? Seven months. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's smelling wicked, that garlic. Yeah. Garlic is like. Garlic's just the best. I love it. No. My kids eat no, everything. No, no, no. Oh, I ain't kissing you, boy. Mm, 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 mm. There's going to be no kissing. You can't kiss me anyway, you're married. <laughs> don't kiss married women, I don't know where their mouth been. What's he like? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's looking though. We're going to the store. Room. We're going to a quickie. <laughs> My eyes were just black. Through here, everywhere, he had just beat me so badly because I said it's time for an annulment. <laughs> One forty seven PM Tommy, Terry, Lucy, Michelle, Ben and Mattia are at the sofas. Did all your family and friends say to you they were like, Don't worry about anything, just don't walk out. Yeah, that's we really let down if you walk out and I was like, Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you have to be you have to try. But I think things have got me pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I can't imagine. You say this now. Yeah, no, I know. And everyone's like, oh, we're like friends. Like friends. <laughs> it's like... Latoya and <laughs> Tina are in the living room. Do you watch this show? No. But you know of it. Yeah, my daughter's obsessed with it. Yeah, everybody is. Everybody I'm is, not, I hear. I, I, no. So, I just thought it's a unique experience. Isn't, isn't it? it? Living with people that you don't know. Yeah. And living with people, period, it's difficult enough that you do now. I know, isn't it? So people you don't know. And I think you get back what you give out to people. Oh, that is so prevalent and so strong. Yeah. And people don't realise yeah. that. 
Yeah, yeah you're sending out this negative energy. Yeah. If you send out yeah. positive energy, people yeah. are going to say, hi, how are you today? But sometimes it takes you a long time to get rid of the negative in your life, whatever that comes through a certain person or people or whatever. But, but it's it's the action that you take. You take, you, you, you have, have to, Because yeah. you know you also bear on other people's negative karma and their energy yeah. as well yeah. when you're with them for a length of time. Yeah, because it drags you down. Sorry? It drags you yeah. down. Yeah, of course. And I, you know, I've just had a, a, quite a few years of that with somebody, and mm -hmm. and you become very depressed, very low, and very negative physically, mentally, well, they can emotionally, drain you. everything. Whereas I'm the best I've been now for 15 years. You I've are? lost weight. I'm financially, you know, I, I'm I gotta stupidly. hug you. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, thank no, you. because what you're telling me is what I've gone through. I, I went through this terrible, terrible marriage, and I got away from this guy who made me marry him. And my life was so miserable. He kept me locked up in rooms. I was never around people. I, I wouldn't even begin to tell you would, what I went through. Same kind of experience. Wouldn't he would beat me, and I would you. stay on TV and say, oh, no, I'm fine. I had to do everything that he said. Oh, I've gone into work and done a whole day's shooting scene after scene with a smile on my face. You're like and me. And I've just come from being beaten. Stuff you wouldn't believe. Really? I used to lie constantly. Oh, you know what? About what was going on? With my au pair when I had her, we went to Italy and he just really beat me. I said, it's been six months. You said after six months that I can get this marriage and all. He grabbed me and put my head, kept beating it on the corner of the door and the whole bed and he wouldn't stop and black eyes and everything. And when she came to pack my clothes, she knocked on the door and I said, oh, come in. Before I knew it, the first thing I said was, I slipped in the shower. She didn't say a word. My eyes were just black. Through here, everywhere, he had just beaten me so badly because I said, it's time for an annulment. But I also think, you know, it's easy to think. And, and yeah, I'm massively confident, but my esteem is very low. So at times, and I think what somebody does is controlling you in that way makes them feel the better about themselves. So to demean you, Makes and to punish you for the shit they feel about themselves right, right. makes them feel better. And I took it. And, and sometimes so you I do. You know? And you know, you don't yeah. tell anybody. You no. keep it to yourself. No. No. And you know the sad part about it all is that everyone would tell me when they later, it's like, you couldn't be, you couldn't be abused. You're a Jackson. Nobody would exactly. let that. It's, it's like, only, well, I get it now. It's only a few years after it's all yeah, over. Yeah, it's fun. It's years been later it. that you go, how did I put up with that shit? But you know what? Some of the strongest women in the world did. I, <laughs> they do. Well, what the hell are we going to talk about after three days? I mean, we've got everything out last night, today, and then we'll be sitting there going like... I can talk about crap for hours. <laughs> well, you have been. I mean, like, crap. <laughs> I don't think it's like, actually crap, although, but yeah. I will just, it'll be totally random. Oh, well. Wow, that's a scarf and a half. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. If you sit opposite me, you won't get the smoke. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, orange, lovely. But I'm surprised you came in it. I mean, gosh. Do you yeah. any of your family, will they see it? You know what, my sister will see it. Jan will see it. Will she? Because my business partner, Jeffrey's here with me. Right. And he said he was going to call. Yeah, he's going to call everybody because Jan watches everything. Really? Yeah, she'll definitely, yeah. she'll be online watching it yeah. every day. Yeah. I, yeah she, well, she's definitely going to see it. Yeah. So she's probably watching it. Yeah. Probably now. So are you you older than Janice? Yes, I am. Older than Michael? Yes. Are you older Jan than Michael? Yeah. Michael, yeah. Rice, rice. So he's a genius, isn't he? No getting away from me. No, he's incredibly talented. Yeah. He's a he genius really bordering is. on madness like me. He, no, he really is, and people yeah. don't understand and realize. Just incredible. Oh, I think he's, he's, he's a living he knows fucking what legend, works. isn't he? He knows magic. This will work if you do this, if you put it like yeah. this, or do this. He has yeah. an eye for that. He's always had an eye for yeah. things like that. Genius. A couple of us yeah, were saying, I, fuck me, we're in, we're in a, a house, and I'll be dead honest with you. Fucking Toya Jackson. La Toya Jackson's in oh, here. She's sweet. a fucking an enigma yourself do you know what i mean and you go fuck me i'm sitting talking to a jackson oh, so bizarre <laughs> three or two p.m some of the housemates are in the living room coolio Vern, and lucy are in the kitchen coolio has been preparing lunch for the last one hour and 36 minutes it smells good Look good, smell good, taste good. It is good. There you go, get a little bit of that thing on there. Yeah. Hey, don't burn your mouth. 
That's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. <coughs> I'm I'm good with the rice. I don't need rice on mine. You don't want rice? No. Okay, I'll do you on this plate then. Yeah. Oh, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Put a little cheese on there. A little sour cream. Seriously. Right, this is a lot better than I thought it'd be. Excuse I me, was, no pink apron. I, no, I was dreading it because I thought it looks very student concoction, <laughs> made up off the bat, but it's all right. Well done, Thank you. Very nice, thank you. This is very good. Well, before oh. we even taste it, where's yours? Have you got yours? Yeah, I've got one of yours. Yeah, I've got one of yours. It's, it's nothing to a kitchen pimp. <laughs> Three twenty p.m. Some of the housemates are in the house. And then I've been in quite a, quite a few. Uh, what do you call for political things? I've been in about four different jails. So I'm the wee jail there. Prepared to for your cause. So you're right, I think you've got it. I think you've got it if you have to. Yeah, two, 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 the, two but has that changed now since you've had not a daughter? Because would you? Do you know something? I've not time. been. I've not been in yeah. prison since my. Daughter was. It's a uh, great quote, isn't it? I haven't been in prison. The last time I think was 2002. Um, it's all vegetables, potatoes, but and chicken. The first Christmas, I nearly, I nearly missed her first Christmas after I got married together because I was imprisoned in December and they let me out the 24th of December. Is there loads of that left? Yeah. Um, so right, that, would, that would have been bad because that would was. Do you want to give us yeah. your birthday point? Yeah. But that was an anti-nuclear protest, so okay. if you believe in something... And, and when you say, oh, you were what, arrested on what grounds? What, and I was causing a disturbance? Blocking the road. Try, try to close down the nuclear base in Scotland called Faz Lane, where all Britain's nuclear weapons are. But I wasn't the only, I mean, there was hundreds of us arrested, but sometimes they don't proceed with charges against everybody. No. They just pick some people and... Of course. Well, to make a point out. of it, of course. Does anyone want a tea or a coffee? God, how many cups of tea are we getting through every day? It's a real diuretic, isn't it? I mean, oh, yeah, absolutely. You've been peeing all day. Is it, is it anyone's birthday while we're in here or not? No. I had my birthday right before I came in. When's your birthday, Vern? January 1st. Oh, you've had yours? Just had it. Oh, we could have had, we can have a, a delayed birthday party. <laughs> it was a big one, too. Oh, was it? You're 21 again. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Turned the big 4 0. Really? That was me two years ago. No. Really? Wow. It's, quite, it's all right. Is it? But I think it's quite scary knowing that. 50 is the next big birthday. <laughs> no, exactly. That sounds a bit... It just seems like it went so fast. For men, it's easier to turn 40 than it is for a woman, I think, isn't it? Yeah. You don't know, of course. She's lovely, Toya. Well, Toya, well, like I said, she, she just wants to say... She's just settling in. She's really got a sense lovely. of humour, she's yeah. quite... Uh, she doesn't miss her. No, and neither, neither and does Vane. Coolio's hysterical, isn't he? Off his cake. Everyone's nice, though. How long ago In was her. the Austin Powers movie now? Quite some time ago, right? Um, my first one? Yeah. Um, it's like 99, 2000. Oh, wow. It's a long time ago. Yeah. That was my favourite film for... <laughs> was it? Oh, honestly, when me and my band were touring, <laughs> like, you know, all the kind of little kind of comments here yeah. and there. It, fuck, man. It's like, um... Killed me. I got a crap on deck that could choke a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. I'm serious. I got a turtle head poking out. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And then what's he say when he's sitting there with the coffee and he goes, uh, does this coffee taste a bit nutty? Oh, no, no, <laughs> tastes like shit. It is shit, Austin. <laughs> it's a bit exactly. nutty, yeah. That's not your mother, it's a man, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, man. Was it, was it a lot of fun to make? Oh, it was a blast. 4.48 p.m. Big Brother has gathered all of the housemates at the dining table for today's task. This is Big Brother. Oh. With the head of house, come to the diary room. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Daddy. You will be from Okay. I'll return Thank with you. a tissue of lies. <laughs> <laughs> so no change there, then. <laughs> Hello, Terry. Hiya. Terry. 
as well as receiving exclusive privileges, the head of house must also make some important decisions. Yes. Do you understand? I do. This week, you will be the only housemate who is permitted to nominate. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Over the next few days, Big Brother will set housemates a series of tasks designed to explore the world of celebrity. You must secretly choose the housemate who will face eviction based on their performances in each task. Do you understand? I do. Based on their performance in today's task, you must secretly decide which housemate has the most inflated ego. Do you understand? Yes, I do. The housemate you deem to have the most inflated ego will be your first secret nomination. Right. You must keep this secret. I will. Terry, you may now leave the diary room. OK, right. thank you. Insist, we got, um, did I see oh, look, insist. Oh, well, if you insist. Well, maybe someone's oh. We are. Oh, boss. Oh, oh. The problem is, Chaddy can't read. <laughs> I, need, I do need me, but I do need <laughs> some glasses. You know it. We've written in you, Lafoy. Yeah. Okay. We've written in you. Thank you. Hey, Terry, on you go, bro. So today's task, housemates will be given the opportunity <laughs> to win two tokens. Yeah. yeah. Water. <laughs> All housemates must take part in today's task. For the first time ever, and for one show only, oh. Big Brother has decided to give housemates the opportunity to appear in the closing credits of Celebrity Big Brother. Ooh. Starring... Ooh. Oh, yeah, um, however, as Britain is in the midst... <laughs> However, as Britain is in the midst of a credits crunch, there are not <coughs> enough credits to go around, so the credit list will be as follows. Starring one housemate must be given a starring credit. Co-starring two, two housemates must be given a co-starring credit. Featuring, and there'll be two who are going to get a featuring credit. And uh, three housemates must be given extras credits. And three housemates will not receive a credit. Aww. Shocking. As a group, housemates must decide which housemate deserves to receive which credit. In the living room is a giant television screen. Behind you. <laughs> it's behind you. It's behind you. It's behind you. It's behind you. As housemates decide which housemate deserves which credit, the head of house, c'est moi, <laughs> uh, should place the relevant picture immediately underneath the relevant credit. When 15 minutes is up or when housemates have re reached a decision, Big Brother will call the head of house of the diary room to receive instructions for the second part of today's oh, task. Part. Right, 15 minutes start that now. Might even so I'll minutes. stick them up. But, but hurry up quick. Who's, gonna, who's, who's it going to be starring? I'll be an extra. I'll be an extra. Hang on, well, wait, everyone's got to, got to agree. Oh, sorry. sorry. Can, I, can I be an extra? I'll be nothing. 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 Right. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. L. Ben. Yeah. Ijk. Ben. L. Well, with with so his matinee so idol looks. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? There he is. Yes, he's starring. Today would be nice. Coolio <laughs> and Latoya co-starring. Yep. Wait, wait, who's the other Wait, come on. Why not? No, why not? No, 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 no. Why not? Why not? Why not? Come on, we don't know what we don't know. I mean, really, come on, let's just do it, man. Cool start. Wait, wait, wait. Cool little Latoya. And then it's Lucy. Can you only do one at a time? And Michelle and Natalia. He's not a woman, is he? Oh, Terry, I'm not being funny, lads. How slow are you? Thank fuck you're not cooking. You mean generally? Featuring, featuring two. Featuring Lucy and Michelle. Oh, my God. 
Yeah. You write I'm writing it. Oh, shit, I've got to write it down here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hurry up. Yeah. 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 Terry and Tina is next. Yeah, Mucha, Terry and Tina. Are, um, is anybody allowed to help? Oh, my God, he can't even write. Oh, <laughs> he can't even fucking write it. Oh. <laughs> Can you read that? No, we want it in cursive style. <laughs> He's looking at no, no, ah. Well, if it's right through me. Um, Featuring. Lucy and Misha. No co starring. No, that's two. Oh, yeah. Co starring. Yeah. Oh. Featuring. Now you're showing your irritating side. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> Do you know, I'm, I'm saying nothing because I'm going to be. I'm saying yeah, nothing. Is it? Your first date says much. Thank you. Thank you. So it's you, Terry, and then Tina. So everyone's happy with that? Yeah. yeah. Let's get part two. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 5.38 p.m. Housemates have been taking part in today's task for 50 minutes. Ben, Terry, Mattia and Tina are in the garden. For the second part of today's task, Big Brothers provided Terry with a camera to film the eight credited housemates who will be appearing in the closing credits of tonight's show. Oh, that's... Kiss your arm. <laughs> <laughs> that's cheesy, baby! In my shot, do I get to kiss your arm? Uh, Junior, you that's fine. <laughs> How was the lighting? Was it good? Yeah. Was the lighting on, good? Right. Where do you want to do yours? Um, what do you do? Your room? Can I do it in your room? Can I do it in your room? Can I do it in your room? Okay, good. So everybody can do it. Is Terry out there? Is he doing it? Is he yeah, filming? Yeah, he's doing the tire oh, in the bedroom. <laughs> Excuse me. And, and, <laughs> and is she happy? <laughs> oh, she looks delighted. <laughs> Hey, so what, you you see, I tell you, he's quiet ones are the worst. Quiet right, ones are the worst. <laughs> Here, I'll just do something like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't do anything. Hey, you'll be on the shopping channel before you know it. <laughs> now, one quick second. Ta-da! Look how tanned you are, Tommy. Compared to how like, tanned I'm. Never mind how tanned. How, how fucking bald I am. That's, <laughs> what, that's what's concerning me. They've, they've, they've chosen the worst single photo there. I'm so vain here. It's ridiculous. Coolio, come on, quick. Is that right? Coolio, Coolio, where are you doing yours? Get your bling on, quick. I'm gonna do it in the kitchen. We're burning daylight. Is that what they say? <laughs> well, that's in cowboy films, isn't it? Is he supposed to be filming you yet? No, he's not he's filming. He's still, he's still right here. Uh -huh. He's gonna come through the door. Oh, it's right. his alter ego. Here he comes. Here he comes. One, two, three. Here he comes. Action. <laughs> Many <laughs> Lucy, come on, quick. Just turn around and look pretty, no, do whatever. Be... Come on. Come, hey, come on, guys. 20 seconds. They do, do they? Go on, shell, shell, Bill. Smouldering eyes. Smouldering eyes. It's just a laugh. Yeah. Lovely feet, smouldering eyes. I'll do, I'll do sex with the gloves on. Tell go. me when. Go. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They're both right hands. <laughs> Six or three PM. Most of the housemates are in the living room. Mattia and Tina are in the ash tree. But I've got this feeling that everything that they've been getting for the last like yesterday and today, they might try and put something together. I'm yeah. like starring and then they'll yeah. be setting things on like this or 
you talking or do you know what I mean? Or smoking or all of us. <laughs> but then with Ben, he's the star. <laughs> so I'm just trying to think, what's the most he's done today? Because <laughs> uh. <laughs> he is quite quiet in the same way. Yeah. Yeah, starring Ben. <laughs> yeah, from every angle. <laughs> Big Brother has called Head of House Terry to the diary room. How did you find today's task? Weird. Because, uh, well, I'm... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not very uncomfortable with what you, what you kind of asking me to do but <clears throat> it's a game in it so we go with it is that is that because we've won it terry as a reward for passing today's task big brother promised you two tokens yeah however as you filmed one housemate in your private luxury quarters <laughs> which is against the rules of living in the private luxury quarters oh. housemates have forfeited one token okay Terry, yeah. based on their performances in today's task, the housemate who you, as the head of house, decides has the most inflated ego will be nominated for eviction next week. Well, you see, I, I mean, I didn't think uh, none of the people that I filmed, you know, I, I would have thought showed any, you know, particular big amount of ego. Only me, because I just keep banging on about being the head of the house, don't I, all the time? Terry, Big Brother would remind you that you are not permitted to nominate yourself. <laughs> We've all got bleeding big egos. Big ego, low self-esteem. Ta-da! That's why we're in the business. Um, you're sitting there thinking, come on, Terry, shit or get off the pot, aren't you? Um, Terry. Yeah? Which housemate do you think has the most inflated ego? Ulrika Johnson. It's not a bad thing necessarily, but I just think to have taken part, you know, to have said, oh, well, I'll star in it, I'll co star, that to me wouldn't have been an admission of ego. That would have been an admission of, I'm up for a laugh. I don't take myself that seriously, which I know she doesn't, but there seems to be, you know, that kind of vibe about it to me. Too good for this when, you know, she's a nice enough girl, but just. Everything seems to get on her nerves a bit about me and uh, about the situation in a way. And I, I think, you know, if you like these shows, you've got to see what they are and take them for what they are, which is a bit of a laugh. So if you're going to ask me, I'm going to put Ulrika forward. I may be wrong and I will suffer the consequences. So there you go. Thank you, Terry. OK. Cheers. You feel, keep filming me as always. Yeah, oh, we got, got one. one. Wait oh. a minute. Oh, oh, my <laughs> what? We, we have to one. earn that, right? Because you went into the private luxury. Oh. oh. You are so stupid. Well, I don't bleed in, no. Of course I'm stupid. Oh, you've only been told three times. Yes, yeah, so anyway. At least we got one. Five <laughs> minutes later. Terry, I think that you should explain to everybody if yeah. they, didn't, they didn't hear yeah. what exactly happened. In the, in the room, we we lost well, the token. between tokens. you two, we lost. Oh, we don't want to know. Guys. Yeah, because I went into Terry's room and oh, I wasn't yeah. supposed to. Yeah, so I, it's not, it, I want to apologize to you guys. Oh, for it's that. not your fault. No, I mean, it, oh, no, we've only got one token instead of two, but it's nothing to do with you. It was me. He said, "Oh yeah, that's a good idea." Oh, da, da, da. Well, so it's your fault, you bastard. Well, I don't. So I didn't know it was like some kind of demilitarized. I just want to know. We could use that that token for a luxury. I say that we use it to watch the FA Cup <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> the third round of the FA Cup. Is, I don't, does everybody agree? I think I prefer water. All the people are using the token to watch the FA Cup raise their hand. The raise your fucking hand. Why you prefer water? The problem is, the tokens are for water. I think the token should probably be used for, for water predominantly, and then if we've got stuff left over, then... Well, I do. Get an extension lead, and you can have the air dryer and the 
the straighteners out of my no, room. No, because then you'll lose as a token. No, because you agree that's not that. inside the private luxury. <laughs> it's, not, it's a bit of a lonely. It's not, it's not inside the it? private not luxury not box room. That's not Toya's fault. That's outside your fault. Fault. Hey, Toya, you know, you it's not, that's not, not your fault. Your I, your I didn't think it mattered. So you've got fucking no not, chance of us watching Man United tomorrow night. We've got three tokens, and every day we can win another two. We're absolutely fine. What happens if two or three days on the run we don't? We don't get any. Do you want to walk around minging? Yes. And washing dishes in cold water yes. and stinking and sweating? No, 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 no
And, um, you know, when I was here uh, filming, the camera guy taught me, a lot, like, the dirty stuff, the really dirty stuff. Like um, uh, I did a Harry Monk on her boat race down at Gregory. A Harry Monk on her boat race down at Gregory. Um, Harry Monk is spooge. Um, and then boat race, like, rhymes with face. Boat race, her face. And then um, Gregory is like Gregory Peck, the actor, neck. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not going to be able to air that. Let me get some neck. <laughs> What's up on that neck? It's <laughs> some Gre Gregory. Eight or eight p.m. Some of the housemates are at the yes. dining table. Are you married, Toya, or not? No, I'm not. Have you ever been married? Mm -hmm. Vern is in the bedroom. This is Big Brother. Would Vern come to the dining room? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want someone to press? No, I get it. Oh, they've got up. Oh, ah, Brio. I wondered what that stick was for. Bang it hard. It's for that if anyone gets that line. Well, I was going to pick it up to beat somebody with it. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. So sweet, isn't he? He's just adorable. But very dry, isn't he? A very dry, sensitive mm. humour. Yes, big brother. Hello, Vern. Hi. How are you this evening? I'm OK. Vern, you looked like you were going to bed. Uh, yeah, I was. Big Brother just wanted to see how you were feeling and wondering why you were going to bed so early. Yeah, well, just, I'm a little tired because I slept kind of restless last night. I don't know, maybe just being in a strange place, uh, you know, it being new and, you know, I guess something like that. I mean, the bed is kind of hard, but that's fine. <laughs> Fern, how do you feel you're getting along with your fellow housemates? Um, everybody's cool, um... You know, there's a lot of people <laughs> that uh, are more talkative than the rest, um, including me. I don't, you know, I don't have to feel like I need to conversate, you know. Really? Yeah, it's cute. Yes, sweet. Yeah. I know, but I, I'm dead conscious of the balance between what you would do to be courteous and helpful. Yeah, I know. And, it's trying and, to not, and then not be patronising, you know. Impinge no. on what he like. Well, you, you took the bull by the horns well, last I just night. Said to him, said, I just said, you must it? say if you want. And yeah. I think that's the best way you have to be direct because we have no, there's no ill meaning or no, no patronising. No. But I want him to join in, and I just think that just because he's smaller doesn't mean that he doesn't have to... And also, you get scared about what you're allowed to say. I think he'll definitely say if he needs anything. Yeah. I don't think he's... Yeah. Well, he does. That's why he said, I'm not handicapped. Because exactly. he doesn't want us to treat him that way. But I keep forgetting and going, can I get you something? Can I do something? And he goes, no, I can do it. Yeah, so but Latoya, I don't want to impose Put it this way. You know, I'm up and saying, I'll shout down to you. Other. Do you want to come yeah. to you? Want? So it's not as if I'm treating him any differently. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah. Other than the housemates, how are you finding life in the Big Brother house? I want to be independent, uh, you know, and I believe that I am. And, you know, for me to do things, it's just a little bit different than an average size person. So I, I want them to see that, you know, I'm not, and I'm not saying this, this is a bad thing, but a handicapped person that can't really do anything for themselves uh, see that part of me. And also, I'm pretty easygoing. I... It's really hard to make me uh, upset or mad. So just hopefully they think I'm a nice guy. <laughs> 10 or 1 p.m. 
Vern has been asleep in the bedroom for one hour and twenty-seven minutes. Michelle, Ulrika, Terry, Tommy, and Lucy are at the sofas. Do you know, I've brought far too many clothes. Well, that's the point. Isn't it? From the point of view that I hope not to be here for. So long, but it, well, I know it's probably something we're not allowed to talk about. No, but, we're not allowed. And to I talk find about it. I find I I would love to talk about it, but I'm mm -hmm. sure we're probably no, not. No, you but can't. But I I I find the whole. And you need to watch, thing. by the way. Don't don't you even say any more because if you say more, I they might then uh, would you call it uh, make you exempt? Yeah. And therefore you don't even get the chance. Love so don't even talk here. about it. <laughs> it's so lovely. You should Please you, you should watch from now on. Well, don't don't say it to maybe Latoya and. In Vern, because they might not get the irony, but you should campaign from now on to get everybody not to nominate you. <laughs> no, I have no game plan. I have no. There's no way of sort of going. You can't. You can't, you can't behave. Can't behave. Can't. You can't behave because you can't take a risk. Certainly, you, you can't. Know, no. People, you know. I'm not sure what I'm allowed to say, so I'll just shut up. That. Shut up. That's it. Move on. Shut You'll up. be here for as long as you're here, and then that's, yeah. that's it. <laughs> I'll be here that's till it. they take me away in a straitjacket. <laughs> <laughs> and that may be tomorrow. We're hoping. <laughs>